Hi everyone, this video is going to cover solving probability problems involving combinations. We're going to take a look at uh, the Lotto 649. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, you, um, uh, players basically choose six numbers um, from the numbers 1 to 49. And then on the night of the draw, um, a machine uh, chooses six numbers and a bonus number. And uh, the top three prizes for the Lotto 649 are as follows. Um, the grand prize, you got to match all six numbers. The second prize, you got to match five out of the six main numbers and the bonus number as well. And then the third prize is just five out of the six main numbers, not including the bonus. Um, it's not just, I mean, it it's hard, hardly ever happens. All right, let's calculate the probability of winning the grand prize. Remember, that's you have to get all six of the drawn numbers correct. Um, so remember, the probability of any event happening is equal to the total number of outcomes for that event divided by the total number of all possible outcomes. So in order to win the grand prize, you have to choose six out of the six winners, right? So that's six numbers, it's the six winners, but you're going to choose all six of them. Now the total number of possible outcomes is, well, there's 49 numbers, and um, to play the game, you have to choose six of them, right? That's a six. That's a six. Okay, so we're going to calculate six choose six. That's just one. And then 49 choose six is 13,983,816. That's a pretty small number. Well, let's look at a second prize. Maybe that's more likely to happen. So remember, second prize, you have to win... Uh, you have to get five out of the six drawn numbers plus the bonus. So let's use a different color. So the probability of this event happening is, okay, so you have to, out of the six winners, with six uh, drawn numbers, you have to choose five of them. So that's six, choose five. And you have, to, out of that one bonus ball, you got to get it. So that's one, choose one. And then you divide that. By again the total number of all possible outcomes, 49 choose 6. Alright, 6 choose 5, so that's just 6. 1 choose 1 is just 1. And the denominator, we already know that's 13,983,816. Alright, we uh, quickly do the math. Uh, that's just 6 on the top. We can reduce that to, um, I'm going to write it down here actually, 1 out of um, 2 million. 330,636. Okay. So let's look at the third prize. That means you have to get um, five out of the six drawn. And also, um, we have to get um, one out of the 42 numbers that weren't picked at all, right? Because uh, out of the 49 numbers, um, they drawn six of them right? And one of them's the bonus. So that's seven drawn numbers. So um, there are 42 left. So let's just pick another color. So the probability of this event happening, um, there are six numbers, six winners, and we're choosing five of them. And we're choosing um, out of the 42 balls that weren't, or the 42 numbers, there, there are balls in a machine. So there's 42, and they're choosing one of them. Okay, we're going to divide that by 49, choose 6 again. Okay. So 6 choose 5, that's 6, times uh, 42, choose 1 is 42, and uh, that's 49, choose 6. Oh, that's 252 out of 13,983,816, and I believe that reduces to 3 over... 166,474. Alright, now it's your turn. You're going to calculate the probability of winning the Lotto Max, where players choose all have to choose all seven drawn numbers. So this lottery draws seven numbers, not six, okay, between the numbers 1 and 49. So why don't you try to calculate the probability of winning the jackpot? Pause the video, try the question, and then we'll take it up when you're ready. Okay, let's try it out. The probability of winning this thing, the probability 
of winning this is again remember the number of possible ways that you can win divided by the total number of all possible outcomes now um, so out of the seven winning numbers you have to choose all seven of them and um, all the possible outcomes there are 49 numbers and you're choosing seven of them okay. All right, well, 7 choose 7 is 1, and 49 choose 7 is 85,900,584. Okay, good luck winning that. I guess people win it, but that's um, highly unlikely. Okay, let's look at another type of question. Here we have a, uh, a roster of six volleyball players are to be chosen from a group of eight boys and seven girls. If the roster is chosen at random, what is the probability that it will have at least three boys? Now, there's um, two strategies for this. Uh, the first one, we can um, just think about all the different um, ways we can get at least three boys, right? So that means we can get... Uh, three, four, five, or six boys on this uh, on this roster. All right. So we can do all of those uh, possibilities, and then we have to divide them. Uh, once we have all the possibilities, we're going to divide it by the um, uh, the total number of all possible outcomes. Right. Let's just figure that one out first. So no restrictions. Whoa. What is that? Restrictions. Well, that's going to be, well, how many people we got? Eight boys, seven girls. So that's 15 people all together, and we're choosing six of them. 15 choose six is 5,005. All right. Let's look at case number one. Okay, we've got uh, three boys. Come on. Three boys. And... Uh, three girls. Okay. Now, that's going to be um, eight boys, and we're choosing three of them. And out of the seven girls, we're choosing three of them. So, eight choose three. Well, that's 56. And then seven choose three is 35. So, we multiply those. We're going to get nine, 1,960. Okay, I'm just going to use a different color. Let's think of what happens if we have four boys. That means we're going to have two. Whoa. Two. Let's just tidy that up. We're going to have two girls. All right. So that means um, we're going to, out of the eight boys, we're going to choose four of them. And then out of the seven girls, uh, we're choosing two of them. Eight choose four is 70 times 21. And that's equal to 1,470. All right, next one. We've got five boys. If we have five boys on this team, that means there is now just one girl. So... Out of the eight boys, we're choosing five. Out of the one, um, out of the seven girls, we're choosing one. So eight choose five is uh, fifty-six times seven choose one is just seven. So that's three hundred and ninety-two. All right, almost done. Out of now, okay, so now there's the possibility of all um, the members of the team are boys. So that means there would be zero girls okay so eight choose six and then out of the seven girls you're not choosing any of them right so eight choose six is 28 times seven choose zero which is one that's a multiplication so that's 28 all right so these are all the possible outcomes we're just going to add them up okay let's uh, the sum total of this is 3,850. So that's all the possible um, ways of having at least three boys on the team. So the probability, 
Okay, so the probability of this event happening is 3,850 out of all the possible outcomes. Right? 5,005. We divide that, that is roughly 0 0.769. Okay. Let's think of the second way of doing this, and this is the way that you're going to do it. You're going to try it out. All right, I'd like you to try the indirect method for this question. So remember, you're going to need to um, sub use some subtraction to figure out the total number of possible outcomes with um, at least three boys. So why don't you give it a shot, pause the video, and um, when you think you're done, um, press play and we'll take it up. So to find out um, at least three boys, we are going to... Um, Whoa, there we go. We're going to do at least three boys. Okay. Remember, that's going to be the total number of all possible outcomes. But we're going to subtract the ones where there's no boys. We're also going to subtract the one where there's one boys, or one boy. <laughs> and then we're also going to subtract the one where there's two boys. Okay. So the total number... Uh, of all possible outcomes, remember I'm just going to write over here, I have a little bit more space, that's going to be 15 people, right, we're choosing six of them, but for no boys, we're going to subtract that, so there's out of eight boys, we're choosing none of them, we're going to multiply that with, out of the seven girls, we're going to choose six of them, so that's uh, all the ways to get no boys, we're going to subtract that with one boy, so that's 8 choose 1, times 7 choose 5. And then for two boys, we're going to have 8, but we're choosing two boys. And then um, out of the seven girls, we are choosing four of them. All right, so 15 choose 6, that's just 5,005. We're going to subtract 8 choose 0 times 7 choose 6, so 8 choose 0 is just 1, 7 choose 6 is 7, so that's 1 uh, times 7. Um, 8 choose 1, that's 8 times uh, 7 choose 5 is 21. Oh, this is getting sloppy. 8 choose 2 is 28, and 7 choose 4 is 35. All right, now we're just going to simplify this. So that's 7, that's going to be 108, and I believe that's 980. And we do that subtraction, we're going to get 3,850. Right? So that's all the possible ways of getting at least three boys using the indirect method. Okay. Now all we need to do then is again find the probability, which is the exact same calculation, right? 3850 divided by the uh, the total number of ways to arrange these uh, these people into, into a roster of six, so that's 5,005, and we get the exact same answer, of course, 0 0.769. Okay, so those are just two, but two very important um, uh, types of uh, probability problems involving combinations. So thanks for watching, and best of luck.